those springs were absolutely shot what's up everybody i'm captain jody with bayou bandit charters welcome back to the channel had to cancel trips this weekend we've got high winds we've got storms moving through the area and some stained water so what we're going to be doing today is something that i have been putting off for quite a while we're going to be replacing springs on my old boat trailer this boat trailer sees constant salt water all the time so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be replacing the springs all the bolts u-bolts mounting bolts everything like that getting it good to go checking out our wheel bearings making sure everything is good this is something that in salt water you have to do about every three to four years those springs will start rusting start losing their spring tension start spreading out and that's not good uh the next thing that happens is they start to break and you run into a lot of trouble so we've got four brand new leaf springs we've got brand new galvanized u-bolts backing plates stainless steel hardware for all the bolts uh, this trailer i got used several several years ago it had galvanized axles on it that was rusted out i built stainless steel axles for this trailer so i never ever have to worry about the axles failing me only the springs if you like this how-to video or if you like rod and reel fishing flounder gigging along the alabama and mississippi gulf coast give my channel a subscribe i'd appreciate it it'd help me out a lot enough talking let's get these springs replaced all right we've jacked up both sides we've got all four wheels off uh, i prefer doing it that way where you don't have anything in a bind if you just take the two wheels off on one side the other two wheels could be in a bind and when you start unbolting things things could move spin on you you know a lot of pinch points involved here so that's why i like doing it i've got a chain fall around my axle where i can let it up and down however i want to do it you can do that with a jack as well uh, i've got two jack stands for safety plus my blocking up on the back so let's get in here start getting this sucker unbolted everything is a three quarter if these bolts don't come loose i've got my matabo and i'll cut them so hopefully they'll come loose there we go a good impact makes things so nice first spring is out you can see what bad shape those springs were in compared to the new ones wore out i mean in very bad shape the next thing that would have happened before very much longer is those springs would have broke you see what the salt water has done to them how they've deteriorated them it was time it's time for a change even though these are stainless steel bolts you still want to use anti-seize on them because stainless steel will gold between the bolt and the nut and we're going to go ahead and put some on the whole shank of the bolt We've got a washer on there take our first spring line it up in the spring hanger 
it's not a bad job about a two hour job to do this don't let it go guys don't wait till everything breaks Now we want to let our axle down. Make sure you put any C's on your U-bolts. And then we've got our bottom plate. This is how your bottom plate goes on. You got those flanges that turn down and you want it the ribs of strength crossways not like that you want it crossways you got a hole right there that lines up and then you put your lock washers and nuts on and if you don't like getting your hands dirty wear you some rubber gloves First spring is on. We're gonna repeat the process for the back. Stay tuned. another one out it looks just as bad as the last one man it was time to change those suckers out all right now we hang our new spring get us a washer and a lock nut And you don't want to over tighten these. You don't want to squeeze those brackets together and pinch that spring. That's why you use a lock nut. Just snug it down because that lock nut won't back off. If you use a regular lock washer and a regular nut, you can squeeze these clips too tight and pinch that 
a spring and it won't articulate the way it needs to. That's why this come along is so handy for this little job. Like I said, you can use a jack. I like to come along. Just a little bit more. That should be just right. Get a new washer and nylon nut. Like so. And now we can let off our come along. Take it off. And we've anesthetized our U bolts. Drop them in place. And now we've got to move our axle uphill right there. And that hole goes through the bolt that holds the springs together. Line everything up just like that. And we're almost done with this side. This is a job y'all can do yourself at home. Save you some labor cost from taking it somewhere and letting somebody else do it. You don't want to just put your impact on one of these nuts and just run it down. This is something you want to work out where it's even. You want even threads on everything so you watch it while you tighten it. Where you get everything even. We've got both springs replaced on this side. Everything is good to go. We're gonna go over to the other side, do the same thing. After that is done, I'll get back with y'all. All right, we've got our new springs on this side as well. New U-bolts, everything good to go. As you can see, those springs were absolutely shot. They had sprung, they had spread out. They were getting dangerous to be on the road. All the bushings wore out. Not, not good at all, people. And also, I've checked all my wheel bearings. My wheel bearings are good. I anti-seized all of the studs. All that is good to go. All we gotta do now is put our tires and wheels back on, bolt them back on, drop it down off the jacks. We'll be good to go. That's four years, four years with those springs. So keep that in mind. Check your hardware, check your fasteners at least once a year. And when it's time, go ahead and replace the springs. I got all the springs, all the U-bolts, all the hardware for about 250 bucks. So they're not as good as torsion axles. Uh, hopefully by the end of this year, in the winter time, I'm gonna either buy or build a new trailer with torsion axles on it set up for my application. Once you get your tires back on, your springs will orientate up to the top side of the equalizer bar like they're supposed to be, and you'll be good to go. 
Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If it was informative, hit that subscribe button. I put out a video every week along the Alabama, Mississippi Gulf Coast. Normally we're fishing, but if I've got a boat project or an outboard motor project, any maintenance with my Suzuki engine, anything like that, I'll be sure to throw a video out there. Thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.